this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the radio buttons input template and also the checklist input template. These two templates are very similar and we're going to be repeating a lot of the same steps. As with most of the templates, the first thing you should do is check out the different theme options and you can have some ideas on different things you can do. First, we'll look at the radio buttons. Those are a choice field where you can only have one option selected. You can use whichever icons you want. These are fabric icons. There are options or suggestions in the notes section in the blue box. Um, so you can look through those options or you can go out to the fabric icons webpage by just clicking on the black button. And of course, as is the case in most templates, you can change the font size change colors, etc. Note that a field name is required and additionally you need to provide a list of the choices in the field. So we're going to fill that in. Um, we have a list here and I'm going to be using the billing field for the first example and I've already got my options queued up and ready to go. So for my billing field um, this was set up with these options. I have monthly, three months, six month, yearly, and other. Basically, you just need to match the options you have already put into your SharePoint choice field, and those should be comma delimited. And then additionally, you need to put in the name of the SharePoint field. So this field's called billing. So I just type that in, and now I should be ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and copy that template, hit OK, and then I'm going to come over to this field, format the column, advanced mode, and I'm going to paste in my new code. There you go. So as you can tell, this lets me change uh, to whichever option I want. Notice the color changes on hover and it also changes when an item is selected. That's based on the configuration choices. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the template for radio buttons. So now we can go ahead and take a look at the next one, which is our checklist option. As I mentioned, this works uh, much the same way. You can take a look at some different theme options and choose whatever you like. Um, as you'd expect, you can multi-select. So this works with a SharePoint choice field, which is, which is using the multi-select option. Okay, I'm going to use the default option there. In my example, I have a field called weekdays. And those are just the days of the week. Just as was the case with the other choice field, I need to go ahead and provide this configuration tool, my options um, delimited by commas. Okay, so this is just Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, etc. So now I've put in this information and I can go ahead and copy my template. Note that there is a special requirement about this. Um, the Microsoft form does something funny with this multi-select field in the edit form. And it just means that you would only use the list view to edit choices. I'll demonstrate how you can turn that off um, and uh, basically set this up where you just change the options through the form. But please do read the notes at the bottom so you can understand the additional steps that are required. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my template, hit okay. And I'm going to my column, which I called weekdays. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in my template. Okay. So first, let's just demonstrate the functionality. Just as you would expect, I can toggle on and off options and I can multi-select. Now, the additional step that's needed is in the form. What you want to do is turn off this field in the Microsoft form. The reason why is because it replicates the field. Fortunately, there's no way around that. And that means that you don't want to show that to users. Okay, so what you want to do is go to the 
options for the form and click on edit columns. You're going to uncheck your multi-select field, hit save, that'll remove it from the form. In this situation, your users are only going to be making updates to that field through the view and not through the edit form. Um, so just a, a special consideration for that type of field. So that's everything that you need to know about using radio button inputs for choice fields where you have a single selection or a checklist option. This would be for the multi-select option for choice fields. And of course, you can use different icons, colors, font sizes, all of that kind of thing. Good luck.